purple cut crease and I call it beautiful obviously because I created it and I really like how it turned out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Now if you guys want to see how to create this makeup look just go ahead and keep watching. So I'm going to be taking a concealer and I'm going to be applying it all over my eyelid and that's going to act as my eyeshadow base. I'm gonna be buffing that out with my L'Oreal sponge. I did wet this sponge so it's stamped. I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera since I have been including my eyebrow steps on my recent videos. If you guys are interested in seeing how I do my eyebrows, go ahead and go to my previous videos which I will list down in the description box so you guys can see how I do my brows. So this concealer is gonna be acting as my eyeshadow base but it's very important to set it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that with the Airspun Translucent Powder. And for that, I'm gonna be using this large Morphe brush. By the way, some of the Morphe brushes that come in sets don't have a name and this one came in a set. And I'm going to be applying that powder all over my eye to set my eye. Today, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes first because I'm going to be using glitter. So I don't want to get glitter on my foundation. And I am getting ready because my son's going to be performing at his school. So we are going to go watch him. And yeah, so I'm excited for that. That's why I'm getting ready. And I'm not going to go too glammed up, but I really want to use this pink glitter I got from MAC. So that's why we're using glitter. Using the Morphe M576, I'm going to go ahead and apply this shadow called Noray, I think, from the Anastasia palette. This as my transition shade. I'm going to be applying that right on my crease from the outer to the inner part of my eye. And I'm going to grab some more and intensify that crease shade, that transition shade. So pretty. This eyeshadow is blending so, so nice. Same with the other eye. And I'm really intensifying this because I want my shadows to be a little bit darker than the glitter that I, than the glitter that I'm going to be using. And that glitter is like a like a hot pink so I don't want it to be lighter in the crease that's why I'm going darker with my transition shade as well so go back I'm gonna go back and blend next we're gonna be using the Morphe Night Master 15 and palette and from this palette I'm gonna be moving in directly to scene to the purple one right here and I'm gonna be applying that all over my crease and for that I'm also using a Morphe brush that doesn't have a number this is like a pointed crease brush and I'm gonna apply that right on my crease so I can start to find in this area so once I have applied the shadow I'm gonna go back and blend see how it's looking really patchy I hope I hope I can get rid of that and blend it very nice so I'm gonna go back and use the same brush we used with the Anastasia palette and we're gonna go ahead and blend this out with the other eye and that shadow actually blended out very well we we're looking patchy but once i blended it all in it blend very nicely so i want this eye to be kind of smoky so i'm gonna go ahead and bring it all the way to the inner part of my eye So I am going to be carving out half of my crease and I'm going to be using the same concealer for that. Now for the outer part, I'm going to be taking a small pencil brush and I'm going to be taking Cliché, this color right here. This is a very gorgeous pigment I bought a while back ago it's super super pretty and it's like a very gorgeous pink color I did wet my brush and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over 
Right by there. Going back to cliche, I'm going to go ahead and blend Whisper Pink and that color together. This is just going to get rid of that harsh line. Now, right in the line of the crease where I cut the crease, I'm going to go ahead and apply my pink glitter. This is what it's called. It's Pink Glitter by MAC. So pretty. And to apply that, I'm going to be taking the NYX Glitter Glue or Glitter Primer. And I'm going to be taking the same brush that I used to apply Whisper Pink. I'm going to be applying my eyeliner and my lashes and I'll be right back. So moving on to my face, if you guys already are tired of seeing me repeat the steps, you guys could just go ahead and forward to where I finish my eyes and my lips but I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty like per usual because I have been really liking this primer because it keeps me pretty matte and I'm gonna apply that all over my face next I'm gonna be taking the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 180 and this is the Pro Filter foundation I'm gonna give it a good shake and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be applying that with my L'Oreal sponge and I do really like this foundation, you guys. Sometimes I just think it looks a little bit cakey on me. And I think that is, that is because it's super matte. Since it is like a matte foundation, it tends to look a little bit more cakey because it's a little bit more dry. Now, I'm, I'm going to be using my concealer. Same concealer I used for my eyeshadow base. If you want your nose to look slimmer, just go ahead and bring that concealer up your nose. And just bring like a straight line forward like that. I'm going to be applying some in the center, also oops, in my forehead. Let's blend this concealer out. To blend this right here, I'm just going to be using the same powder brush I used earlier. I just feel that that brush fits perfectly in my eye. And then let's continue. So next I'm taking a concealer that is two shades darker than my skin tone and I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my skin or contour if you will with this shade. And I am using a flat foundation brush from the Morphe Holiday Collection. So today it's Friday and I think I'm going to go out for some drinks and dinner so that's why I'm really getting ready so now I'm gonna take my sponge one more time and kind of blend that in so it's nice and blended so very quickly I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the air sponge translucent powder and for that I'm gonna be using the same sponge to apply it and we are gonna leave this baking so we are baking today While that is baking, I'm going to go ahead and scoot you guys forward and we're going to do the bottom eye. In the waterline, I'm going to be taking Dark Room from Morphe. This is a black pencil liner. We are going to be taking Cliché the pink purple shadow and we are going to be applying that under our eyes we are going to be applying mascara now I'm going to be removing that powder and at the same time I'm going to be setting the rest of my face just kind of spreading it everywhere Taking Hula, I'm gonna go ahead and bronzer and I'm gonna go ahead and bronze and contour my face. For blush today, I'm gonna be taking the Too Faced Peach Blush. This smells so amazing and it also looks very, very gorgeous on the skin. It makes your skin look very glowy and pretty. And it gives it like a like a slight hint of a peach color, so it's very gorgeous. 
I'm gonna try to use the Whisper Pink highlighter. I mean, not highlighter, shadow. I hope it works. This is an eyeshadow. And let's see, let's give it a go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend that with my powder brush. And for lips today, I'm gonna be using this little lipstick thing that I got from my Ipsy bag. This is from the brand Mona Mona Carrar, and it's called Beauty Simplify Lip Lock Priming Gloss Stain. So the color looks very gorgeous. Let's try it out. So I'm gonna highlight my tear duct using the same shadow. We're gonna set this with the Mario. That is it you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I love you guys and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!